Hey Geeks, Tim with MajorGeeks.com. As always, today we're going to show you how to enable or disable always prompt for password on remote desktop connection. In other words, if you're using remote desktop, you can actually save your credentials so that somebody can just log in at will. This will force them to put a password in every time. We can do this with the group policy editor in the registry or with registry files. Let's do group policy editor first. Windows key plus R, gpedit.msc. And when that comes up, you can see here, which will be linked to in the video description, in case you want to follow along with that, computer configuration, administrative templates, slide open so you can see what you're doing, Windows components, remote desktop services, <clears throat> remote desktop session hosts, not connection, session host, and then finally security. In the right window, look for always prompt for password upon connection. Not configured means exactly what it means. It's the default setting. Enabled means they're going to need to put a password in. Disabled is the same as not configured. So we can kind of ignore disabled. You're going to either want to go not configured for default or enabled to make them put a password in. And you can always come back and switch it back and forth. One of the reasons the registry files are handy is you can switch it back and forth almost instantly. So we would download the registry files. However, advanced users can go to this registry key right here. You're going to have to create a new DWORD 32-bit value named F prompt for password, just like that. Double click it and put the value data of one and then the value data of zero for no prompt or you can actually delete this DWORD if you're done with it or just change it back and forth from one to zero. The registry files right here is the link download download now wait five seconds it'll start automatically you're getting patient and click right here a little flashing thing there it is and extract the files now what we do with our tutorials now is we provide a link in everything and I should mention this is part of our Major Geeks Registry Tweaks, which currently at the time of this video is 88 Registry Tweaks. Pretty cool stuff in there. All sorts of neat stuff. So consider taking a look at that. Anyway, if you happen to get lost and you've downloaded this, we provide the link in everything. And there you are to the page that we are already looking at in the background. So if you need us, just look for that. So if you want to enable Always Prompt for Password, just double click. Click on Run, click on Yes, click on Yes again, click on OK. Now the prompt is always on. To restore it, which is why I kind of like the registry files, double click it, repeat, repeat, and it just removes the registry entry that we just showed you. You could actually manually edit yourself. So as you can see, if it's something you think you might want to do on and off, you really can't beat the registry files. So there you have it. Nice way to secure your system a little bit so that somebody has to put a password in every single time there you have it you know where to find the uh, subscribe down here the little major geeks logo and as always we appreciate you watching see ya